Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Let's start a new session today in quantitative aptitude and the topic is problems on trains. Now this is also one of the subtopic of time and distance. In this chapter also we find three terms in every problem that is speed, distance and time. Now let's start with the problem. The first question, a train crosses a pole in 12 seconds. It crosses a bridge of length 300 meters in 27 seconds. Find the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 600 meters. Now how to answer this question without writing any equations or any formulas in a very simple way. First of all, let us try to know some basic points in this chapter. Now, if a train has to cross a pole, it can be a pole, a tree, a man, a woman and so on. If a train has to cross a pole, what is the distance the train has to travel? Now, if suppose this is a pole and this is a train, if this train has to cross this pole, now what is the distance it has to travel? To cross a pole, this train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train. So, the first basic point is to cross a pole, a train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train. Now, the second point, if suppose the same train has to cross a bridge. Now, let us suppose this is a bridge and this train has to cross this bridge. Now, what is the distance it has to travel? To cross a bridge, the train has to travel a distance equal to length of the bridge plus length of the train. Now, these are the two basic points which we require to answer this question without any formula or equations in a very simple way. Once again, the two basic points are to cross a pole. Now, it can be a pole, tree or anything that is any object whose length is negligible with respect to the length of the train. So, to cross a pole, a train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train and to cross a bridge. Now, this can be a bridge, a platform, a tunnel or any other train also. So, to cross a bridge, a train has to travel a distance equal to length of the bridge plus length of the train. Now, let us start solving this problem. Now, the solution for this problem, a train crosses a pole in 12 seconds. Now, we do not know what is the length of the train. I assume like the length of the train is L meters. If I assume the length of the train is L meters and that train whose length is L meters is crossing a pole in 12 seconds. Now, what does it mean? It means that the train will travel a distance of L meters in 12 seconds. So, train travels L meters in 12 seconds. Now, the next point, it crosses a bridge of length 300 meters in 27 seconds. Now, what is the distance the train has to travel to cross a bridge? Now, to cross a bridge, a train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train plus length of the bridge. Now, length of the train L, length of the bridge 300. So, to travel a distance equal to L plus 300 meters, the train takes 27 seconds. And the question is, what is the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 600 meters? Now, to cross a bridge of length 600 meters, what is the distance the train has to travel? Obviously, it should be L plus 600 meters. Now, to tell the answer for this question, I need not find out the length of the train, I need not find out the speed of the train. 
directly we can tell the answer by simply analyzing it. Now, let us try to analyze. Now, the train travels L meters in 12 seconds. It travels a distance of L plus 300 meters in 27 seconds. Now, my question is what is the time taken by the train to travel a distance equal to L plus 600? Now, let us analyze L meters 12 seconds. So, definitely here also to travel this L meters, the train has to take 12 seconds. So, how much time does the train take to travel this 300 meters? To travel L plus 300, the train takes 27 seconds. In that, to travel L meters, it takes 12 seconds. Then to travel 300 meters, the train should take 15 seconds. So, the point here is the train can travel 300 meters in 15 seconds. Now, answer. Hope you are able to tell the answer now. You can see the answer there now. I have to find out time taken by the train to travel a distance equal to L plus 600. L meters 12 seconds already given here. 600 meters. Now, the train travels 300 meters in 15 seconds. So, 600 meters in 30 seconds. So, answer 12 plus 30. Answer is 42 seconds. So, the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 600 meters is 42 seconds. Now, in the same question, there are two more questions that can be asked. Now, the question asked here is find the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 600 meters. Now, instead of asking this, we can be asked what is the length of the train? Without any equations or any formulas, how can you tell what is the length of the train? Let us try to solve that problem. The same problem if a question is asked, what is the length of the train? Then how to answer it? Same analyzing, the train can travel L meters in 12 seconds. It will travel a distance of L plus 300 meters in 27 seconds. I want what is the length of the train. Suppose a question is asked, what is the length of the train? Simple, again from the same point, you get the answer. We know that the train travels L meters in 12 seconds. So, 300 meters. 15 seconds. So, the train will travel 300 meters in 15 seconds. So, what is the length of the train? What is the train doing in 12 seconds? Definitely in this 12 seconds, it is crossing a pole. It means that in that 12 seconds, it is traveling a distance equal to the length of the train. So, whatever the distance the train travels in 12 seconds should be the length of the train. In 15 seconds, the train travels 300 meters. In 12 seconds, what is the distance it travels? Just cross multiply, you get your answer or you can directly say 15 into 20 is 300. So, 12 into 20 should be 240 meters. So, the length of the train is 240 meters. Now, there is one more question that can be asked in the same question. Giving the same information, Instead of asking find the time taken by the train to cross a bridge of length 600 meters, you can be asked what is the speed of the train? A train crosses a pole in 12 seconds, it crosses a bridge of length 300 meters in 27 seconds, what is the speed of the train? So, directly you can tell the answer from the same point, from this point. The point here is the train can travel 300 meters in 15 seconds. So, what is its speed? 300 by 15, which is 20 meters per second. But generally, whenever you are asked speed of train, all the options will be in kilometers per hour. Now, how to convert this meters per second into kilometers per hour? Very simple, multiply with 18 by 5, 5 fours, 18 fours are 72 kilometers per hour. 
So, this is how you can answer this question without using a formula or any equations by simply by analyzing it. Now, let us try to solve one more question of the same type. A train crosses a bridge of length 122 meters in 17 seconds. It crosses another bridge of length 210 meters in 25 seconds. Find the length of the train. Now, once again, let us analyze the problem. Now, we know that to cross a bridge, what is the distance the train has to travel? Obviously, it should be length of train plus length of bridge. Now, here we do not know what is the length of the train. That is what we need to find. If I assume the length of the train is L meters. Now, to cross a bridge of length 122 meters, what is the distance the train has to travel? It is L plus 122. Now, to travel a distance of L plus 122 meters, the train takes 17 seconds. Now, the same train is crossing another bridge of length 210 meters. Now, what is the distance the train has to travel to cross a bridge of length 210 meters? It is L plus 210. Now, to travel a distance equal to L plus 210 meters, the train takes 25 seconds. Now, if you see clearly, to travel a distance equal to L plus 122, train takes 17 seconds. And to travel a distance equal to L plus 210, the train takes 25 seconds. Now, we need not find out what is the speed of the train or we need not do any calculations by doing cross multiplication. Taking the speed and doing cross multiplication. Let us simply analyze this in a very simple way. Here, the train takes 17 seconds. Here, the train takes 25 seconds. Now, why is it taking more time here? Obviously, because it is traveling more distance here. Now, how much more than here? Here, the train is traveling 88 meters more than the first case, 210 minus 122. Now, to travel that 88 meters, how much time is the train taking? Definitely, it is taking 8 seconds. Now, still, if you want clearly, now this I can write it as L plus 122 plus 88. Now, to travel L plus 122, we already know the train takes 17 seconds and to travel 88 meters, it should take 8 seconds, then the total time is 25 seconds. So, the train travels 88 meters in 8 seconds. Now, how much distance will the train travel in 1 second? Definitely, the train will travel 11 meters in 1 second. I want what is the length of the train. Now, how much distance will the train travel in 17 seconds? Now, 1 second, 11 meters, 17 seconds, how many meters? 17 into 11. Now, 17 into 11 is 187 meters. Now, we know that if a train travels for 17 seconds, it should travel a distance equal to L plus 122 and we came to find out that if a train travels for 17 seconds, it travels a distance equal to 187 meters. So, obviously, L plus 122 should be equal to 187. So, how much is L? 187 minus 122. Answer is 65 meters. So, the length of the train here is 65 meters. Now, let us solve the next problem in this chapter. Let us start the next question. A train traveling at a speed of 54 kilometers per hour crosses a platform in 36 seconds and a man standing on the platform in 20 seconds find the length of the platform. Now, bridge, platform, everything is same. Now, what is the distance the train has to travel to cross a platform? Definitely, to cross a platform, a train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train 
plus length of platform. And what is the distance the train has to travel to cross a man? To cross a man, a train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train. Now, we need not once again do any equations or formulas to answer this. Simple analyzing, you get your answer. Now, to cross a platform, what is the distance the train has to travel? To cross a platform, a train has to travel a distance equal to length of the train. If I assume the length of the train is L meters, then it has to travel a distance equal to L plus. And if I assume the length of the platform is P, definitely to cross the platform, it should travel a distance equal to L plus P meters. Now to travel a distance of L plus P meters, the train takes 36 seconds. And the train is crossing a man standing on the platform in 20 seconds. Now to cross a man, what is the distance a train has to travel? To cross a man, the train has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train, that is L meters. So, to travel L meters, the train takes 20 seconds. Now, generally, we try to form equations and try to find out the length of the train, then find out length of platform, we get the answer. But instead of doing all that, directly, how can we tell the answer? Now, to travel L meters, the train takes 20 seconds. So, here also, to travel this L meters, the train should take 20 seconds. Then, how much time will the train take to travel a distance equal to the length of the platform? L plus P, totally it is 36. In that, to travel a distance of L, it takes 20 seconds. So, to travel a distance equal to the length of the platform, the train should take 16 seconds. So, whatever the distance the train travels in 16 seconds will be the length of the platform. So, distance is nothing but speed into time. Now speed 54 kilometers per hour. Here time is given in seconds. So convert this speed into meters per second. Multiply with 5 by 18. Calculating this 18 threes 3 into 5 into 16. 16 fives 80, 80 threes 240. So the length of the platform here is 240 meters. You can easily tell what is the length of the train also. Now, if I want or if I ask you what is the length of the train also, then whatever the distance the train travels in 20 seconds will be the length of the train. Then my answer would be 54 into 5 by 18 into 20, 18 threes. So, the length of the train is 300 meters. So like this, we can answer the questions in this chapter without using a formula or equations in a simple way. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe at www.youtube.com slash